Hey guys, it's Darkson here, and welcome back to Dark Souls. On the last episode, we cleared up the depths, essentially. And now, we're going to take care of the giant rat. So, if you remember here, this is the entrance to the depths. So, down here is a shortcut to the rat. As you can see, he's been hungry. And there it is. So, what you want to do is, you know, this. Okay, not missing, but that. So, this is gonna take a while. Uh, can I switch? 67. Okay, it's gonna take a little bit. But like I said, this is why you want a lot of arrows, because he, you can choose him like this. I mean, you can fight him 1v1, but I'd rather not. Just too much of a hassle. So, he's almost dead. And one more. There we go. We'll pick up that very shortly. So, in the meantime. Okay. Okay, which is. Ha! Huh. Um. How do you get over there? Oh, from that side. Wait, no, that's the other side. Um. Oh, you had to walk around. I'm an idiot. So you walk all the way around here. Oh, jeez. This should be a certain shield we'll need soon. Yes, the spire shield. No. Let's see, spire shield. Alright. The shield of the savage mountain bandits, uniquely shaped with a large black spider etched on it, it has poison resistance. So. Um, essentially, anything with poison will resist. So at this point, we will go down here now, because I believe that's all we need to do. So drop down. And you'll see here, you drop to humanity. And then we can check on what the design was last time, which is Solid Demon Soldier. Oh, wow. Okay, four. Okay. So, now. Down here. Eh. Oh, I thought you could jump. Ha. Huh. That's awkward. I'm going to meet you guys at the bonfire. And I'm going to meet you guys, not the bonfire, the uh, answer to the, the boss. So I'll meet you guys there. And we're here. So, ignore the slug. Let's come back up here. And then around here. Now, for this fight, if you are online or if you have humanity on you, uh, you know, when you're kindled, you can summon Night and Solar and Law Trek to help with this fight. But I'm not going to do that. So, let's see. Uh, it's down here. Okay. Also, if you notice, I have another humanity. I believe it's from killing the big rat. I don't know. This boss eh, is easy if it goes well. Oh, he's tiny. Look at that. A little baby. He's so tiny. Uh, tiny. Uh, well. Oh. That is not tiny at all. Yeah, no, I'm joking. I know what this guy is. <laughs> but, seriously, no. Uh, yeah, that's a dragon. Oddly enough. Welcome to the Gaping Dragon. So, this boss, he's honestly not too hard. Now, as ev in every boss fashion, if it has a tail, chop it off. I'm not even kidding you. The only thing we'll do is charge, spit some vomit, and fly. Oh. Come on. Here we go. Oh, this is bad. Oh, I forgot he's a sweep. I forgot he's a sweep. Oh, dear. Alright, so he's gonna do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Just dodge your stomps. 
Oh, gonna draw him and do that. But Aussie, he's not really that bad. You just gotta watch where he's going to hit and do that. Apparently, I haven't seen that before. Uh, slice. Just gotta jump. 200 damage. Ugh, that's not looking too good, to be honest. Ooh, great. Okay, could it, what? I'll do a heal heal. So, okay. Oh, come on. Come on, give me your tail. Ah, fine. There we go. Dragon King Great Axe. Lily, if you want to beat this boss easy, just sweep on his ball his butt now. And that's it. That's all you gotta do. Ah, da, da, da. Come on, big boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what? Oh, boy. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Am I dead? Yeah, I'm dead. <sighs> I had a feeling that would happen. Alright. Well, that happened. Well, since I'm here, let me at least show you the Dragon King Axe. Uh, yeah. This weapon requires 50 strength. Yeah. If I didn't put any of the points into intelligence, vitality, attunement, or endurance, I would have it already. But that's not really good. I'll let you guys have a brief description there. And then, yeah, so I get with the whole dragon or other kind of axes, like, not dragon axes, like, uh, the Drake sword, the dragon axe, they have, like, the whole two hand and swing kind of thing and drop, like, a beam of, uh, not beam, like, like how the Drake sword does its attacks. Well, like, the two handed blade thing. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, that's a little, uh, that's pretty much the great, uh, what was it, great axe? Uh, pretty sure it's a great axe. Yeah, the Dragon King Great Axe. So, I'll meet you guys back at the Gabe Dragon for round two. Round six. Round two, not six. Wait, what? I get a cutscene again? What? Now nah, we're gonna skip that. Forget that noise. Alright, let's get my souls and let's redo this. Round two, not round six. Jeez, it ain't Capri Damon all over again. So dodge that. 94, but it's quicker though, that's the thing. Alright, so do the usual. Oh. Lily only do a straight round his tail, that's it. Let's watch some sweeps. And two hands should be easier. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <coughs> Doesn't like that. If honestly you get behind him, you just gotta do that. <coughs> Sorry for the coughing. I mean, oh. Okay, that's, that's, that's weird. Okay, come on. <laughs> Let's not have trouble with the dragon, please. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna, oh, oh crap. That one shot? That one shot it. Well then. Alright, round three. Where are my souls? Right there. Weakness is his head, if you couldn't tell. So that's a charge attack, so watch out for that. Alright, come on, give me a tail. I'm gonna break it off for you. Oh. oh. Okay. Oh, it's turning around. I was like, what is he doing? Okay, watch for the sweep. Come on. Oh, that does a lot more than I thought. Okay. <clears throat> Just gonna drink up. What are you doing? Oh, it's just charging. Alright, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, big boy, let's go. Okay, fine. We're gonna do off attack instead. Uh, walk for stamina. He's gonna turn around. I'm on you, dragon. I should be attacking the head, but it's easier if I just strafe around it, to be honest. Has I died twice to this thing already? Ah, oh, I mean, come on. All right, tail's gone. Oh, yeah, that's 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 that. 
Oh, it's gonna slip. Oh, wow, I'm glad I blocked. Oh, it one shot me. Oh, oh, geez. It's gonna charge. Good drink right here. Smack. 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 Wait, did he run up to a wall? I think he did. And does the roll. Oh, this jump. We'll slam him down, to be honest. Um, I dodged, sir. What are you doing? Is he gonna charge? Come on, sir. So, smack. The mind you, that end can hit you still, even if there's no tail, so do be wary if you're gonna strafe around and hit him from behind. He's gonna do a sweep, but there's no tail for that, so I mean, you know. He's gonna jump around. Wait. Okay. You should slam your face down. Okay. Now get okay, your face. Come on. Three shots. I mean, 614. Wow, that's a fun damage. All right, come on. Over here, over here. Good. I missed. Dang it. Oh, man. All right. Back up, back up. I should get a free swing. Oh. All right, come on. That's going to hurt. Oh, nope, okay. You're going to slam your face down. Oh. Oh, this is a different one. Oh, right, you can do, uh, not really tracking, but more like, you know, uh, follow up. Right, that, that, that could hurt. I believe that can actually one shot me. Uh, you're gonna jump down, and I should actually finish you off. Thank you for doing that. And good day. Wait, what? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh my hell. And die. Oh, I got lucky. Okay. Um, we're not going to talk about that. So, all he had was the key called Blight Town Key. And two humanities, one more bone. And how much souls we get? 25,000, actually. Ooh, nice. How many souls did that get me? Uh, I can't tell how many levels that gets me. Because this is in Dark Souls 3. Right. Okay, so, um. Alright, that's a lot different. Yeah, this is actually a bit of a trap right here. These item sets. Because what happened is, it's like, oh, items, yay! Well, the dragon just stomps your face in. So. Wait. What's this? Is that just like a waterfall entrance here? Ah, uh, okay, that's just this waterfall. So I guess like a feeding pool thing. I don't know. Anyway, let's look at the key we got just now. Okay, two tries on the carpet. Two tries on this is not too bad compared to carpet demon. Gah. All right, key to Blight Town from the depths of the undead burg, swallowed by the gaping dragon. As the name suggests, Blight Town is a place of great pestilence. Even the polluted inhabitants of the depths are aware of its dangers and built this mighty door in hopes that they would remain safely prepared, safely separated. Blight Town, oh boy! If any Dark Souls player knows what is like one of the meanest places ever in this game, it is Blight Town. Ah, uh, uh, even I play this game a bunch, and I do not look forward to seeing Blight Town ever. And I mean ever. <laughs> and you think I'm joking? No. Flight sounds like one of the most nastiest places. It's it's not. I mean, like I'm saying, it's not too too bad, but like it's still pretty bad for what it is. I will show you guys in a moment what Flight Town looks like. Uh, twenty-seven thousand. I might want to level up actually. So, uh. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna level up and then meet you guys back here. So I'll be here right back. Now, you're wondering, why am I farthing shrine? Well, I was gonna look for my pyramid at the end, but I figured now's a good time to show you guys this. 
be us new people to talk to. Let's find out. Oh, hello. My guests have finally arrived. I will be departing with them shortly. So, I'm afraid I will be saying goodbye soon. Oh. It was a pleasure. Oh, miracles, I... Hmm, well, Jester. Shrug. Heh. Let's talk, boy. An undead mission? Regrettably, I cannot share that with you. But you are my pupil. Perhaps if you show your faith. Hmm. Yeah, let's uh, find out. Very well. I can surely tell you, of all people, undead clerics are given a mission to seek kindling. Kindling is the art of feeding bonfires with humanity. Through kindling, we shall one day be granted magnificent powers. So that's a little bit of lore about killing the bonfire. Why, you know, we use humanity to increase our SS, which is our, you know, lifeline in this world kind of thing. Rhea is the youngest daughter of the good house of Thurland. They're all Those there. young knights are her old schoolmates. But I'm not sure what to make of them. I'm afraid they may be a bad influence. Uh huh. Rhea is the youngest daughter. Okay. But I, I'm afraid. Let's talk to these guys now. Come again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Alright, you. Hmm? What have we here? You look awfully raggedy. Wow, man. Times are grim. The least you can do is look sharp. Don't you dare meet my lady like that. You might scare her off for good. I mean, if I don't, I'm pretty sure something else will. Oh, you again. What business have you? I don't suppose we can help, though. We accompany my lady on her righteous mission. It is quite a chore, but I'm stuck with her. And Nico, too. I can't very well abandon them now. Huh. Sounds like she's more of a baggage, troubled baggage, or what the terminology is called. Oh, it's you. We're to leave momentarily. The catkins aren't exactly my idea of a good time, but what can one do? I do hope we meet again. Rary or not. Ah, the catacombs. Right. There is a place. Oh, it's you. We're to leave momentarily. Yeah, the yeah, catkins. Yeah. What, Rarian? So, what do you say about the catacombs? It's kind of a hint of the next place to go, so you know, you know, hint, hint. <laughs> now, for this lady here. <coughs> now, for this lady here, uh, let's see what's going on. You are undead as well? Yep. Then we've no time to fraternize. I have my mission, and you no doubt have yours. We must not let this curse overcome us. There we go. Can I talk to you again? And get a good view. There you go. Did I not explain the urgency of our tasks? Or are you so uncouth as to lack such judgment? Wow. By the looks of you, I should think not. Jeez. Come on. Give us a break, lady. Did I not explain the urgency of our tasks? Fine, Who are you fine, by the looks fine. of you? Fine. All right. You have anything more to say, bud? Oh, hello. Miracle. Yeah, 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 yeah. Rhea is the uh, but, but I'm a Ah, right. Come again. The so essentially, these four people are going to check out the catacombs and get this rite of kindling. So, let us move on. Mm, what? Restoring your humanity? Well, yes. Well, there are a few ways to go about it. Collect it bit by bit from corpses. Or you can butter up a cleric and get yourself summoned. And the quickest way, although I'd never do it, is to kill a healthy undead and pillage its humanity. Coveting thy neighbor is only human, after all. <laughs> Uh-huh. So it's, that's not my little way of saying, you know, hey, you want to be alive again? Those are the ways to do it. You can find humanity, you know, or creatures can drop it as well. 
Also, hello, you. By the Lords, your face. <laughs> your humanity is really slipping. Gee. But there are methods. Most fools have more humanity than they know what to do with. Now, who do you imagine will make the best use of it? Mm hmm. All right. Oh, hello. I'm considering a change of location. I have a rather pressing matter to attend to up above. Ha! Huh. That keeper has served me well, but enough with her. <laughs> ha! Huh. All right. Oh, I'm con- I have that- <laughs> Alright, same dialogue. Alright. And you, we can upgrade it further, so, I mean, you know. Alright. So, how much further can I increase my fiery hands? No pun intended whatsoever, or jokes that matter. Sush, people. I know what you think. Oh, hello there. I'm oh, pleased to see you safe, as always. Alright, buddy, come on. 2,000? What? Oh, okay. Creates a primacy. Flames expensive. Ugh. Okay. Well, let's see if we can make any further. Goodbye then. Come back if you find anything new. Ah, uh, we will. So in the meantime, I'm gonna cut hit cut it where I'll have the upgraded primacy. So I'll see you guys in a moment. Now that we have more than three thousand souls, we can upgrade this primacy number four. Let's do it. Gets pretty expensive from here on out, man. Ugh, 4,000 souls. I mean, I can grind it off screen, but that takes a lot of time. But then again, possibility. Goodbye then. Come back if you find anything new. I'll find something new. But actually, I don't think it'll end off here. We did a little bit. Mostly, uh, kill the big rat, cap. The oh my gosh, I keep saying cap or demon. The gaping dragon. Got its tail off twice. Uh, you know, met with, uh, what's his name? I honestly forget his name. Pertrude, I think. Oh. Uh, okay, his actual name here. So, Come again. This guy and his the friends. effectiveness. We found out about a new, uh, new location called the Catacombs, which we will have to get to at some point. And, um, apparently a lot of tracks got to move at some point as well. Not now, it seems. But in the future. So... Until then, guys. Oop. <laughs> Alright then. Come on. There we go. Alright, I think I'll definitely end up here. And next time you see me, guys, we will be back in the depths. Uh, trying to figure out what's going on and what's behind those giant doors. I think we know what's behind the doors, because clearly we got a key. And the only thing we can go down is... Well, rephrase. The only thing we can go to now is lower is now lower, like the basement. So, until then guys, this is Darkson, signing off.